Hello students, I am going to teach you today uh, the testament of a walker. So I am going to explain you what is testament of a walker. So the testament of a walker is about the author Arganarayan. What he says that he is impervious to the fine values in a car. He is not interested in the facilities or the luxuries that a car can provide. He is satisfied if he is provided a seat and four wheels that can roll. However, he happened to own an imported car which is flashy and full of sophistication. Anybody would be ecstatic uh, to see his uh, car, its easy steering, maneuverability, concealed air conditioner and depth recorder, air conditioner with uh, you know very fine quality, uh, calculator, digital alarm, but the author never understood the purpose of most of the buttons, switches and gadgets. The air conditioner in the auto car, which was supposed to make one journey comfortable, uh, was switched on during 10 years for total period of 30 minutes only, that is less than 3 minutes in a year. Whenever the air conditioner was on, the windows were to be closed, which inhibited his driver, driver whose habit was to show right or left turn by thrusting his arm out, who, when the glass was raised, constantly hit it with his fist. He had a habit of gesticulating at erring pedestrians and addressing them volubly in passing. And in the car, with the air conditioner on and the windows closed, the driver felt constricted and drove without spirit. The author thinks that he was in fact a condition to driving to the tune of the rattle and roar of other vehicle besides behind and ahead. The author confesses that he does not have automobile sensibility and he does not regret for it. He believes that man's ultimate destiny lies in walking and that is why he is endowed with a pair of legs and that is why uh, he thinks that um, having a car is not a good thing. Uh, which can operate without petrol or gear his legs is talking about it is the philosophy which leaves him behind and which leaves him indifferent to hike in the price rise he says that there will be a time when uh, the price of the petrol would go a huge amount he also said that then people will discover that feet is the best thing the most ambitious uh, work the author has been planning to for so many years is called the testament of a walker he wanted to write a book on it but definitely he did not write he wrote a essay on it but the philosophy is deeply rooted in him there was a time when he used to walk 10 miles a day even in bed water he did his walking in the veranda he thinks that uh, for a person like him possessing a sophisticated car uh, is irrelevant and nuisance Privacy and anonymity are the two things he value a lot and I think you also value and the, uh, the driver who is driving or the person who is sitting in the car is uh, not able to get that privacy and anonymity. He said that he always whenever wants to avoid any public engagement or any public occasion uh, if he goes out in his car everybody finds him detects him and comes to know that the person who is saying that he is not at the town he is actually inside the town what i'm trying to say that whenever he tries to run away from people saying that he don't want to visit any program cultural program he is going somewhere but when he goes out with his smart car, people say that, oh, he was lying. He never went anywhere. So the author also had a very terrible incident in a workshop where his car was supposed to be repaired. But what happened? The person took out the, you know, parking light and he really forgot where he has kept it. And later, it was a very difficult uh, time for Ark and Ryan to find the, uh, you know, real part of that particular car and to put it back there. And to buy a real part, it really costs a lot. And he has to go to Vindhya's because Vindhya's is the only shop in India that time in his story, in his essay, which says that gives the best quality car parts. Otherwise, he has to go to abroad. So here he says that uh, for him, a car is not a beneficial thing. But where is legs? In Testament of a Walker, what we come to know is that walking, according to him, is better than having or owning a car. 
so he says in the entire essay that he feels that his car which is very sophisticated which people dream to buy is actually a very irritating thing for him he didn't like anything about the car he always wanted to walk and for him walking is better than having a car all right because the car really disturbed him a lot at last what he did he just um, gave his car uh, you know to uh, to uh, to a friend who actually used it in the later part of the story so we see that he actually had no interest of having a car uh, although he had bought one so his friend suggested that you could do one thing you could just take away the good parts from the car and buy a cheap car and put all the sophisticated item items there or you could just give this car to a person who is a road vendor selling uh, tea so the vendor can use the car uh, for you know selling tea or you can keep it in the you know garden and uh, hang the flowers in it it will be a showpiece in the garden so he didn't really not use the car for the real purpose but he have uh, really annoyed by the car so this is what all about testament for walker thank you so much